Hey guys, I wanted to share with you my list of five absolute must have makeup products. I'm working with Nordstrom on this video, so huge thank you to them. But I saw Allie Glines do this video and I thought that was so appropriate because not only do I want to kind of pare down what I use in the summertime, I really want to go easy breezy in the summertime, but it's also a time when we travel a lot. At least personally, when I travel, I don't want to bring all of the makeups. I don't want to bring like my entire vanity here. I really want to pare it down. So I'm going to be sharing with you five things that I think are really, really essential for a really beautiful summertime, bronzy, glowy kind of look. So the first thing is, and I've talked about this product a lot, is uh, an SPF that can also act as a primer. This is the Chantecaille Ultra Sun, it has a very long name, Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Primer. This is an incredible primer. It smooths, it blurs, it uh, works beautifully under pretty much any makeup. I've worn this probably under all types of foundations, liquid, cream, even powder foundation, this has worked beautifully under, so it's a really great primer. But what's great, especially in the summertime, although SPF is important all year round, um, but especially in the summertime, SPF is really, really crucial. And so I like that this kind of kills two birds with one stone. You have a beautiful primer and you have SPF 45. Um, the consistency of this primer is very, very thin, so don't let that shock you if you've you know never used this product before. Um, it's a product that you have to shake up well. They do mention that on yeah, they do mention that on the tube right here. Shake before use. And you'll hear the liquid kind of sloshing around in there. And then when you squeeze it out, again it's very, very thin. But it is really, really gorgeous on the skin. And sometimes this is the only kind of base product I'll put on. That's how smoothing and blurring it is. It's really, really beautiful. So this is number one on my list. Number two on my list is um, a product that I love to use, especially in the summertime, and it gives me a, a little bit of a bronzy tint. It gives me a beautiful glow, and much like the Chantecaille Primer, it kind of kills two birds with one stone. And I'm talking about the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. So the two birds that I'm talking about, I need to come up with a different saying that's so violent. Um, but the two things that it's knocking off of my look list here is that it gives me a bronze so i don't need to or i don't feel like i need to use a separate bronzer it gives me a really beautiful bronze that's all i have on my face right now i don't have any additional bronzer or anything but it also has a beautiful glow so if you're someone that really enjoys uh, like highlights or whatever i don't think you need one i don't have any highlight on and you can see how beautifully glowy this product is it is like it just makes your skin look pearly, just really, really pearly, gives it a gorgeous, gorgeous sheen. It's a very soft kind of pearly sheen. It is everywhere. Obviously, this is something that I would put on all over my face, um, but I love that it gives me like just the slightest hint of coverage, um, but it does give me that bronze and it does give me that highlight. So it really does a lot of things all at once. And I love using this as like my only base product, especially in the summertime. It's a serum, it's lightweight, it's on the thinner side. And like I said, it does all of those things. So I think it makes a really, really lovely base. I have very dry skin, so I didn't powder or anything, but if you have oilier skin and you wanna use a product like this, I would just put a little bit of powder on just where you need it, maybe carry some compact powder with you during the day. But that's it. I feel like um, despite how glowy this is, it doesn't get more glowy or greasy looking as the day progresses, which is really great. So that's the Brightening CC Serum from By Terry, and this is in the shade, sorry, I didn't mention that. This is in the shade Sunny Flash. So there are other shades. Um, there's like a pink tone shade. So if you have a very, very light, cool skin tone, that one could be really great for you. They also have Apricot Glow, which is a little bit lighter than this, but it's a little bit warmer toned than this. So if this is a little bit too bronzy for you, but you want something that warms up your skin a little bit, the Apricot Glow could really be a good option for you. But I just love this formula, especially in the summertime because it is a serum, so it's very, very lightweight. So after using a base like this, like I said, you've taken care of bronzer, you've taken care of highlight. So all I wanna do is add just a little bit of blush. And as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of cream blushes. So I pulled out the Clé de Peau Cream Blush in number three. This is the one, I think it's Persimmon is the name of the actual uh, shade. 
but this is what it looks like. It's a very, very bright peach. And I love this little compact little pot that it comes in. It is perfect, perfect for travel. So I have that dabbed just on my cheeks here. So all of these uh, Clé de Peau cream blushes have this really beautiful kind of subtle satin pearly kind of sheen to them. I think you can see it in the pot probably better than you can see it in this hand swatch here. But really, really gorgeous. They just sit on the skin so beautifully. They blend out beautifully. Um, and with that little extra sheen, they just keep it from looking too matte or too dry on the cheeks, which I love. That's definitely my preference. And in the summertime, more so. So that is the Clé de Peau Cream Blush. And also in terms of cream blushes, I would also have to recommend the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. I was gonna put on this shade today, which is Pop It. I really like bright blush shades for, for the summertime, can't you tell? This is also something I would not hesitate in recommending to anyone. This shade is really, really gorgeous. It's a little intimidating in the stick and when I swatch it, but let me go ahead and blend it out. It just gives your cheeks, you see that? Just gives your cheeks like a really healthy little flush. Of course, you can build it up if you do want something a little bit brighter, but it's gorgeous. So I would recommend either of these. I went with the Clé de Peau today just because I love this persimmon shade, but also, you know, if we are thinking about summertime, we are thinking about travel. This is, I think, just a little bit more travel friendly than the West Med Atelier, but that's like neither here nor there. Okay, next up, I couldn't help but mention a one and done eyeshadow. You guys know how much I love one and done eyeshadows. I'm generally just pretty lazy when it comes to eyeshadow. And I think, again, in the summertime, it's just like, let's keep it simple, let's keep it easy. Let's just do one swipe of like a really beautiful shade. And so I was kind of digging around in my collection and I've talked a lot about uh, cream eyeshadows that I love, uh, but there's one that just really stuck out to me and one that I wanted to put on today. This is the Dior Monocolor Couture shade in 530 Tool. It's a satin shade and it's what I have all over my lids. And I hope the lighting doesn't completely blow it out, but it basically is, it's like highlighter for your eyelids. It's so gorgeous. It is so, so beautiful. Um, I also could not resist in mentioning the Beige Mitza. This is a shade that I talk about often. This one is just a little bit uh, deeper. It's a little bit more dramatic than the tool. And obviously, depending on taste, depending on you know what you're doing, I like something that's just a little bit easier to wear, especially in the daytime, just a little bit easier to wear, which is why I opted for the tool. But that's what I have all over my lids, and it's it's just gorgeous. It's just this gorgeous, satiny, beautiful, like glistening kind of shade, and it's Stunning, it's absolutely stunning. So uh, Tool or Beige Mitza, I would recommend either of those. I really love the formula. It's super, super smooth and super compact. You know, you can just grab one, throw it into your travel bag. Either shade, again, it depends on your taste, works great for day or night, day or evening, or even if you just wanna bring both, you can kind of like add a little dimension with the Beige Mitza, it is a little bit deeper than the Tool. But either one or both, you really cannot go wrong. Okay, and finally, this is more of like a category versus an actual product. So I've pulled out a few products to show you. Again, it's gonna depend on your preference, your taste, you know, what you're going for. But the idea is a juicy lip. I don't think there's anything more summertime appropriate than a juicy lip. So let's start with what I have on my lips. This is the Sisley, uh, I don't know the full name. Oh, here, Fito Lip Twist. These are like their tinted balms. I have it in the shade seven, I think this corally shade is so beautiful against bronzy skin. So I just had to pull this out and you can see that it is just a tinted balm. And so if this is an intimidating shade for you, this is definitely a wonderful starting point if you wanna get into it um, because it is just tinted, it's not opaque, it's easy to wear and it is a lip balm. So it feels incredibly nourishing on the lips. If you're familiar with Sicily products, they always have like botanical extracts in all of their products, makeup and skincare. So it's just not only great feeling on the lips, but it is really great for your lips. So that is the Sicily Tinted Balm in number seven. Um, and then I just pulled out a few glosses that I love. Well, this is one that I haven't talked about on my channel in a while, but the name just, it says it all. This is the Lancome Juicy Tubes. And I pulled out the shade Marshmallow Electro because it would give you that really uh, like milky kind of frosty lip, which again, I think is so much fun in the summertime. I don't even know if you're gonna see this swatch, but yeah, there it is. So it really makes your lips look juicy and it has this 
um, kind of like a golden shimmer in there. So it appears light pink, but it really gives you like a milky, slightly golden sheen to the lips. Again, really, really great against like bronze skin. In fact, I have a little bit on my finger here. I'm just gonna put it on top. It just like brightens up the lips a little bit. Really, really beautiful. Um, so that's one suggestion, one thought. Um, another one is Tom Ford. Of course, I love these Gloss Lux uh, lip glosses. This one I pulled out is in Love Lust. I love this kind of like baby pink shade. It's really pretty if you're looking for something more cool toned. So versus like this coral, if maybe you've gone for a cooler toned eye look, maybe you went with the uh, Beige Mitza eyeshadow, which has like a coolness to it. This could be really, really beautiful paired with that. And then I wanted to present a more neutral option. This is the Hermes, uh, they're like lip oils. And this is in Rose Cola. Yeah, Rose Cola number five. This is my favorite one out of all, I think six that they came out with because I love the scent. I love the scent of Coca-Cola. Um, I believe the cola in here is Cola Nut, which kind of smells like Coca-Cola, or we should say Coca-Cola kind of smells like Cola Nut. I love it, I absolutely love it. But this is a really beautiful kind of like neutral lip shade. And all of these are just glossy, moisturizing, very lightly tinted lip products, which I just think is so perfect for the summertime. It's just so appropriate. So those are my five absolute must-have makeup products for the summertime. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. A big thank you to Nordstrom for working with me again on this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.